In the beginning, nothing. No movement, no sound, complete emptiness. Then, something. A speck, an idea. The idea could be anything. It could be... And most exciting of all, life. Everyone can conduct this power. Everyone has an imp. Imps are the key to the power of the Dreamiverse. The Dreamiverse teems with their energy, waiting for you to choose your very own. Which one is yours? belongs to you. Now to see what your imp can do. Press and hold the options button and your imp will snap to the center of the screen. Yes, great. Your imp responds to the smallest movements of your wireless controller. That's because it's attached to the controller's motion sensor. You only need to move the controller a teeny tiny amount to get your imp to respond. Go on, move your imp around a bit. Think of the light bar on the front of the controller as a flashlight beam conducting your imp. You see that little cluster of creativity? Move the pointy part of your imp to touch it. That's it. Now, Collect those two clusters at the top and bottom. See how that feels. Yes, magnificent. You can also nudge the imp against the edge of the screen to recalibrate it. Anytime your imp gets unruly, press and hold the options button to recenter it. Now, let's play with the Dreamiverse. See if you can catch all those dancing shapes. Unleash those colors and sounds. Very good! You're a natural. Wow! It's a symphony. See how your imp can affect everything it touches. Wandering, soaring, leaping, playing through the wilds of your imagination. You're amazing. You're wonderful. 
You're a dream surfer. You're... Oh, no. You found the wall of doubt. Don't worry. Everyone doubts themselves in the beginning. See that loose brick? Try using the pointy tip of your imp to grab hold of it. That's it. Pull that wall down. Look at that brick. Who does it think it is? Get rid of it! Your idea is getting away. Chase it down. Somewhere. Oh, more barriers. Cast them aside. source of energy is you. What can you do? One, two, three, dream. Ah, we have light. A good start. If only we had a way of exploring this place. Now we're really getting somewhere. Hmm. There must be some way to get up there. Great work. We're so close. Look at that seedling. The dreamer bus loves to help things grow. That's it. Amazing what a little nurturing can do. Almost there. your very own home space. You'll always start dreaming from here. As you can see, my little cone friend is happy to help you wander around.
You got a prize bubble. Well done. There's a lot more around. They've got all sorts of useful goodies in them. See if you can find a few. Excellent finds. Now for the entrance to the Dreamiverse. Press the circle button to get your imp back. Use the tip of your imp to click on that little ball of energy. So much to see. Decisions, decisions. Choose Dream Circle to experience other dreamers' creations, or pop into dream shaping to make something of your own. Ah, dream surfing. Here we can explore the wilds of the dreamiverse. Slipping and sliding through the strangest and most wonderful ideas and creations. Lose yourself in the kaleidoscope of games, animations, music videos, and all sorts of worlds and experiences made by dreamers just like you. Dream surfing is a never ending, ever changing stream of dreamers' imaginations. Let's try it out.
kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time.
This is dream shaping. Here you have the power to manifest anything you can imagine. Anything. Music, a story, a piece of art, a whole game, even something there isn't a word for yet. Create things from scratch using the dream tools. Or you can use them to remix something another dreamer has made. For now, I'll take you to the Dreams Workshop, where my friend, the Dreams Architect, will introduce you to the secrets of creation. Go on in. He won't bite. Promise. So you want to learn the ropes of dream shaping, but you don't know where the tools are on the shelf, or how to use that intriguing gadget, or you want to know what that strange contraption over there does. Architect, assist us. Ah, hello, Architect. Hello, Queenie. Uh, why am I a squirrel? Just a temporary physical form for you. I like it. It's cute. Well, thank you. It's better than the last one. Now, show this dream shaper how to unleash their creative powers. Done! Follow me, dreamer. Oh, it's so exciting that you're here. I have been really looking forward to this. There is so much to show you. Gameplay, animation, art. There's no limit to what's possible. This is the Dreams Workshop. Which controller do you have? I hope you've got your imp under control. I've got some spectacular tricks to show you, and some that are just all right. Make sure you follow the steps carefully if you want to get the most out of this tutorial. It's not just about getting to the end. It's the journey that counts. Shortly, you'll be in edit mode, creating and editing your own scenes. First, I'm going to show you how to move around the scene. Welcome to edit mode. You can see that we're in edit mode because the assembly mode icon is in the top left of the screen. If you ever need to remind yourself of the controls, select that icon with the X button. And select it again to hide the controls. You can also see the assembly menu at the top of the screen. That's where you'll find all the tools and modes you need to construct your scenes. The assembly menu is opened and closed by pressing the square button. You won't need it just yet, so go ahead and close it with square. First, I'm going to show you how to move around in edit mode, as it's a bit different from play mode. To give you something to do, I've hidden a puppet somewhere in this scene, which we'll need in later tutorials. I've left some clues to help you find it. Before we search for the first clue, let's start by looking around. In front of you, you can see a floating island with some shapes on it. If you move the right stick to the left and right, you can look around the scene. Is there an orange cone around here? You found it. There's a blue cube around here somewhere too. See if you can find that. Now try looking up with the right stick to find the pink pyramid. That's the one. Okay, let's turn back towards the shapes floating on the island. My first clue is hidden somewhere on this island. Move around the island using the left stick. Push it left and right to move sideways and up and down to move forwards and backwards. Remember, 
Left stick to move, right stick to look around. Easy. If your imp ever feels off center, hold the options button to recenter it. Can you find anything here that looks like a clue? Once you've found the clue, you're ready to move on to the next step. If you want to re-watch this step, you can. Hover your imp over the buttons on the video to see what they do. Use the skip buttons to move between tutorial steps. Or just rewind 10 seconds if you miss something. If the video gets in your way, grab and move it with your imp using R2. You can minimize the video and play along with audio only. Or you can maximize it to watch in instructions view if you prefer. In instructions view, you can see more information about the steps. Once the current step is finished, press the arrow button to move on to the next one. Did you find that clue? It was on the back of one of those shapes. Looks a bit like a rocket. I do love a cryptic message. Why don't you look around with the right stick for any rocket-related goings-on? Ah, look over there. On that island in the distance. Those shapes look a lot like the ones in the clue. Go on, fly over there and check it out. Remember, push up on the left stick to move forward and use the right stick to change direction. And don't forget, you can recalibrate your imp by holding the options button. Once you reach the island, make sure you're looking right at the cylinder and the cone. When you're ready, move on to the next step. Think back to the first clue. The cone was on top of the cylinder, right? But how can you move them? Well, in edit mode, you interact with everything using your imp, the very tip of your imp's pointy part. See how there's an icon in a circle there? That shows you what tool the imp is using. Right now, it's the arrows icon, which means the imp is using the move tool. That's the default tool in edit mode, because editing a scene means moving things around a lot. Let's see the imp in action. First, grab the cone. Hover over it with your imp and hold R2. Now your imp has the cone, use the controller's motion sensor function to move it around. Try to put it on top of the cylinder, just like in the clue. Use the left stick to move the cone backwards and forwards. Objects in scenes can intersect and overlap, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Get it roughly into place, and I'll show you how to refine it later. Once you're done, you're ready for the next step. Now, that looks pretty good, at least from this angle. Creating scenes in three-dimensional space means that you should always look at your creations from different angles. The easiest way to do that is with the grab cam. Instead of moving the objects you grab, grab cam moves your point of view around them. Try it out on the cone. 
hover over it, then press and hold R1. Pushing the left and right sticks moves your point of view around the cone. Easy. Now that you can get a proper look at it, check that the cone is on straight. Unlike mine. Let go of R1 to stop using the grab cam. And use R2 to make any adjustments you need. Here's a little secret called nudge. If you don't press R2 all the way down, but just hold it lightly, you can move the cone slowly, giving you finer control. Once you're happy the cone is straight, you can move on to the next step. Hey, look at that. Another clue. It's a molecule. I know because I put it there. Just play along with me. Why don't you look around with the right stick and see if you can find another molecule. There's one, over there by that island. You're hot on the trail. Hmm, it'll take forever to get there using the left stick. Luckily, you can use the grab cam to get there faster. Give it a try now. Hover your imp over that orange cube in the distance. Hold R1 to grab it with the grab cam. Then gently push up on the left stick to zoom right over. Just keep holding R1 until you've made it all the way to the island. See? Told you it was quicker. But there's an even faster way to zip around scenes. It's just like the grab cam, but you'll also need to hold L1. You see, L1 is a very special button. You know the way that on a computer keyboard, holding down shift changes what some keys do? Well, in dreams, holding down L1 changes what the other buttons do. Maybe it's best if I show you. You see that rocket you built earlier? Hover your imp over it. Now hold L1 and then press R1, the grab cam button. You don't have to hold it or use the stick this time. Whoa! Fast, huh? Try it out again on the return journey. Hover your imp over the orange cube and hold L1. Then press R1 to zoom right on over. Now that you know how to move around quickly, see if you can find the next clue somewhere on this island. Remember to use the grab cam to look around the whole island. Once you've found the clue, you can move on. Did you find the last clue? It was on the back of the orange cube. What on earth could it mean? If I had eyes, I would wink at you right now. Hmm, I can't see any other green trash cans around. Unless... Of course, the trash can is the icon for the delete tool. I'm so devious. That must mean you need to delete the orange cube. You can delete anything in edit mode using the triangle button. Just hover your imp over the cube, then press triangle. And it's gone. These tools are powerful. Delete the orange sphere next. If you change your mind or delete the wrong thing, you can press undo, which is the left directional button. And if you want to redo, just press the right directional button. You can undo and redo pretty much anything, not just deletions. Oh look, there was a clue hidden in the cube. An arrow. Hmm. Perhaps there's another one like it nearby. Look around with the right stick and see if you can spot it. Once you've found it, you can move on to the next step. That was my final clue telling you where to go. The island right above us. I know you're an expert in moving around with the left and right stick now. 
but I've got one more technique to show you. Remember that holding L1 changes what the grab cam does. It can also change what the left stick does. Normally, it moves you backwards and forwards in the direction you're facing. But if you hold L1 at the same time, the left stick will make you move up and down instead. Try getting up to the last island that way. Position yourself so you're looking at the orange arrow, which is pointing up. Now hold L1 and push up on the left stick. We have liftoff. Keep pushing the left stick until you reach the island. When you're ready, move on to the next step. Right, here's the puppet I reserved for you. Let's call her Connie, because she looks like a cone. We need to help Connie walk through the door to complete this tutorial. To do that, we're going to have to switch over to play mode. Remember, right now, you're in edit mode. This is where you create and edit your scenes. In play mode, you can experience the scene just like a player would if they found it in the Dreamiverse. You can't make any changes in play mode, but you can take control of characters and try out what you've made. Switch over to play mode now. Just press the options button on your controller. Hover over the controller icon with your imp, then press X to select it. To control a puppet in a scene, you first need to possess it with R2. Try that now. She's full of beans, isn't she? I picked her just for you. Walk her around a bit, then take her through the door to finish this tutorial. Oh. Looks like the door's too high. There's more to Connie than meets the eye, though. She might be able to reach it if you make her jump by pressing X. Oops. I remember now. I always forget to put the steps in. Better head back into edit mode. To switch back to edit mode, just press options again, then select the pencil icon. Did you see those stairs on the island below us? Those might come in handy now, so strafe down to them with L1 and the left stick. If you've deleted the stairs, you can use undo by pressing the left directional button. Just keep pressing it until the stairs come back. Okay, press and hold R2 to grab them. Now, without letting go, hold L1 and use the left stick to strafe back up to Connie. Place the stairs in front of the door and let go of R2. There, that should do it. It's back to play mode now. Remember, press options, then select the controller icon with X. You'll be switching back and forth between edit and play mode a lot when you're creating your own scenes. It's a great way to test out your scenes, making sure they look and work just how you want them to. Okay, I think we can get Connie to the next lesson now. All we need to do is walk her through the door, possess Connie with R2, then climb up the stairs. Once you walk through the door, you'll unlock a variety of new tutorials and masterclasses in the Dreams Workshop, plus some elements to stamp into your home space. You'll also be able to browse the Dreamiverse, remix elements, or even create new ones. What are you waiting for? Get in there.